Now today I checked my Megathoma LA Force and I had a very nice um, surprise when I looked into a small 5 liter box where I held this uh, larvae two months ago I put it in here now I found today this beautiful big male larvae in the middle of the substrate and also what we can see is the measurement the exact measurement of the pupal chamber um, I will of course try to make a, an exact measurement of that pupal chamber but before I have to rescue the pupal so that it's not disturbed and so that we can keep it clean and safe during the pupation uh, process first I have to very carefully prepare something where I can put the larvae on without any damage or without any contact to the bare earth where there could be some uh, material that we probably don't like so I open two of these little peat pots now I, I put them here on, on the ground so that I can put the larvae on that on that a little wetted peat substrate afterwards so, but first we of course we will examine the pupa a little bit now let's take it out very carefully without damaging it. So now you see it's moving around. It's a really big thing. Look at that big pupa of the mains. That's compared with my fingers a really big one. The horn you see. It's very elaborate. It will be pumped up a little bit. So look if you have it in your hand. It's a really big thing. Let's have a look how heavy it is. Now here is my my little thing for the measurement um, where I can prove what I say by looking at it. So let's make it zero. Now that's it. Now that's half. Now it's 65 around 65 grams heavy that's a lot of weight for a for an insect and it's probably the biggest uh, insect ever uh, on the earth and it has a really heavy weight so I have to clean it a little bit here on the back there's some earth between the and I have to make it away put it away a little bit so because while opening probably this thing so I have to oh, so very nice and now I put it into this little cage here and of course afterwards I will prepare a nice um, a nice and big pupil chamber for this male and of course now what we have to do now is to make an exact measurement of of the pupil chamber now look the length of the chamber is Now this one is around 16, 16 centimeters long and the wideness is between 6 centimeters thick and it's flattened a little bit. It's not exactly round, it's not exactly round but it has, it's an, has an oval shape. What I wanted to show, I want to show you here is another Megasoma elephas that I found today and in this case I decided uh, to let the larvae not go back to the substrate but I will keep it here uh, because I think it will pupate very soon and it's better uh, to prepare something uh, for this uh, larvae that is safe that has no other animals inside of this um, uh, of the pupal chamber so that it can pupate safely. Now I will sh show you this under the, under the microscope too. Now where is it? Now what is typical here is the wrinkled surface of the skin of this individual and um, that shows you that the larvae uh, will pupate very soon. So I put it uh, in this uh, on this peat uh, mat 
and now I have to prepare a real good and nice jam for that animal too. It's a male also, so I will have to make the shape of the pupil chamber the same as that one that we already prepared now here from the other uh, male elephos uh, pupa. So I hope I can tell you more about these two individuals in around, I say, two months or so when they should come out of the pupil skin and I hope uh, there will be some more nice Megasoma elephos larvae. Thanks for watching.